Hi, this is Robin Bremer. My website is robinbremer.net. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some things that are going to make some Christians mad. But I don't care uh, if I make you mad or not. And you are very, very welcome to leave some nice comments uh, underneath this video if you disagree with me. And don't just leave uh, some videos you disagree. Uh, show me, tell me why. Why you disagree with me. But basically, I think from studying the Word of God, from prayer, and spending time in God's presence, and listening to what the prophets of God have to say, I believe that Donald Trump is meant to be our, our next president. I believe if Hillary gets in there, that everything that we as Christians don't want to happen will happen. That it is going to be hell on earth. Um, but... That just means that the Christians need to stand up and walk in power. But the reason I believe that Trump is supposed to be our next president, and I believe every Christian, not religious person, every Christian that hears from God should be voting for Trump, is because if you look at, it, putting aside the personalities, I must admit that Trump is like a big baby. Okay, he has temper tantrums, he acts immature sometimes, he says stupid stuff, and then he has the backtrack, and and correct what he says. So I, I admit that he, that personality wise, that you might get frustrated with thinking, oh, well, Trump doesn't act like a Christian, but that's just his personality. Like we all have personalities. If you think about it, we're all like, we have a body of an adult, but in reality, we're just big kids, all of us. <laughs> and there's lots of things we would like to do as big kids that we don't do because we're afraid. Anyway, getting back to Trump. So, like I said, I do admit that he acts like a big baby. He has a temper tantrum. But he, I really believe that he has a heart of God. I believe he recently got saved. And even if he didn't recently got saved, I really believe that God has his hand on Donald Trump. And that Donald Trump, as he grows up and matures in the things of the Lord and, and learns to speak the language and learns to seek God in prayer, and I pray gets filled with the Holy Spirit, that he will, um, I believe he will be a man in the White House who is on his knees and who sincerely and truly is hungry, hungry and seeks God. I believe that, um, I believe that Donald Trump, with all his immature and stupid things he said, is changing. I believe that God has his hand on him. And if you listen to me all the way through, you'll understand a little bit more where I'm coming from and why I believe it's important for every Christian to vote for Trump uh, rather than Hillary and what they really stand for. If you go and you look at the polls now, uh, not the polls, but if you go and you look at the list of what each uh, candidate believes in, Trump is for everything that is valuable uh, to Christians, that is valuable to the Word of God. Hillary is against is totally the opposite. She is against everything. She believes abortion is right. Uh, God talks about how valuable life is. Uh, but Hillary believes that abortion is good and that it's a woman's choice. Hillary believes that um, uh, she is taking all these uh, groups of people. Um, and she, God says we're to love people. Okay, I, we, we are to love people. But we do not have to love their their ideas and their ideology and their beliefs. And she is taking the gay and lesbian community, which we love and have no problem with, but she is taking their, their beliefs. Uh, two guys can marry, two girls can marry. Next thing you'll be marrying a dog or you'll be marrying yourself. And in other countries, there's three guys that married each other. Um, so she takes the um, ideology of these groups of people who do not believe in the same values of the um, Christian. In other words, she takes the gay and lesbian agenda to promote perversion and to promote, promote things that God's against. And now, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, please. I love gay people. I love, I love uh, transgender. It's just a matter of they're deceived. They don't know their identity. They don't know how precious. They don't know how valuable they are. They don't know that, that God has called them and that they're gifted. They're, they're loved and valued. So don't get me wrong. But the agenda of the people behind it pushing it 
um, and perverting one man and one woman or whatever. Um, Hillary backs that up. Those are her supporters. Those are the people um, who she's promoting. Um, different, uh, the, the Muslim, and don't get me wrong, God loves the Muslims. But, and, he, and he's showing up in their dreams and, and they're getting converted. God loves those people too. But their ideally, ideally, their belief system. She is embracing their belief system and pushing. That is her agenda to push those um, agendas of the Muslims, saying that we're all equal. We should get equal rights. That's right. We're all equal. But this is America, and in America, we are founded on godly principles. We are a Christian nation, and despite what the media says, because the media is paid. Uh, pharmaceutical is paid. It's it's all the rich people backing these things up. They are all um, being paid. It's all a money thing. So um, you don't want somebody, you don't want Hillary in place just because you might not, because you think uh, Trump is a baby having a temper tantrum and says stupid stuff. You don't want to say, well, okay, then I'll vote for Hillary because everything that Hillary believes is going all the way down to our identity of who we are in Christ Jesus. Um, if we don't know that we're a man, if we don't know that we're a woman, if we don't know that one woman and one man get married, all the way down to our core of our identity of who we are, and these are the things that she believes in, she believes in these things are okay, then she's going to enforce these things. She's going to push these things. She's going to push these uh, curriculums, uh, the core curriculum, the, the stuff that pushes the agenda of everything that the Christian values of this country is against. She's going to uh, promote that. She's going to push it. She's going to change rules and laws. I mean, look at what Obama did. Um, basically, he's, he's Islamic, uh, you know, or Muslim, whatever. And he has opened up the doors to all these refugees and has allowed all this uh, turmoil to come in against our Christian values, which... United States is based on these Christian values. Anybody who comes to our country does not have a right to anything but what America believes. If they don't like what America believes, they need to go somewhere else, not try to change what we believe. And Hillary is very liberal. She is very open to uh, taking and saying we're all equal. We all should have the same rights. And that is true. We are all we all should have the same rights within the American belief system, what we were founded on. So if we're not, if we put her in office, she is going to take from us, even if you're not a Christian, she's going to take from us the Christian values. You see, Christian values is what makes this country great. Christian values, whether you're a Christian or not, are our, our power, our source, our, our life. And if we vote for somebody who pushes the ideology, oh, that's such a hard word for me, of, of, of um, Muslims and gays and uh, um, the, the rights of the people who want to cut down America's value system, what America believes in and who we are as a country, it, she wants to take their belief system and Sharia law and all that stuff, oh, God, people you do not want Sharia law Hillary will bring it in because she is um, she's holding those values dear and if she becomes president we are going to really have um, you better get ready to die you better get ready to die if Hillary becomes president because there's going to be a lot of um, attacks a lot of of uh, things you're not going to be able to open your mouth. You're not going to be able to heal people, set them free. You're not going to be able to have your ministry. You're not going to be able to eventually have your church. I mean, she's going to be shutting these things down. She's going to be inviting in uh, ISIS uh, Muslims. Who, if you're a Muslim, you pretty much have to believe the Quran, and the Quran says kills the infidel, the Christian, the Jew, and and so. Um, if you really truly are a Muslim, they're going to do that. And they could be your neighbor. They could be someone babysitting your kids or whatever. So you do not want Hillary in office. Even if you can't stand Trump, I beg of you, if you hate Trump and you would not vote because of Trump or you vote for Hillary, I beg of you, you need to 
if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, get filled with the Holy Spirit. But you really need to um, pray and seek God and, and, and figure out what it is uh, that God wants you to do and why. Um, sometimes what God wants you to do doesn't make any sense. But Trump, even though, like I said, he acts like a little spoiled brat, he says stupid stuff. Uh, stuff that seems to go against our Christian values, and he's he's beginning to change. But if you look at you, you know those little polls that they give us that says this um, um, this uh, presidential candidate believes is for this 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 and this. Well, if you look at that list, you'll see that Hillary is against everything that is valuable. Uh, uh, she's for abortion all the way up to full term. She's for um, opening the doors to allowing refugees to come in. She's um, for all the trouble that we already have, she's creating more more trouble, okay? And I know, like some of you said, Trump is racist. Okay, if you listen to the media, Trump is everything bad. But you can't listen just to the media. You have to do your own research. And I'm not talking about religion. Religion is different from Christianity. Christianity is having a relationship with Jesus Christ. You talk to him. He talks to you. You have his power in you. You heal the sick. You raise the dead. You cast out demons. Um... You and God are one. You, you, you're you one spirit. That's what the word of God says. Religion is trying to be good and trying to do good things and trying to follow rules. That's religion. Christianity is a relationship with Jesus Christ. So you have to seek your father. What is your father's will? And sometimes it might look like it's not your will or you might not believe it. But you got to trust you here from the Holy Spirit. you got to seek God and ask God who he wants you to vote for. And uh, listening to, I don't have, I don't watch the news because I don't have TV. I just have a big screen TV and a, a VCR, a DVD player because uh, I don't, the news media is paid for. Everything that they report is, uh, they want Hillary in because they can control Hillary. Um, and as you see, they're controlling her with her, whatever it was that, that she didn't pass out. I watched it over and over. She, she had some kind of uh, tremor, some kind of stuff going on with her and they're trying to, they're lying about that. They're deceiving us about that. So if they're lying about that, if they're lying about emails and that stuff and deceiving us about that stuff, what else are they not telling us? What else are they hiding from us or deceiving from us? Trump is all out there. He, he says stupid stuff. He gets it out there. He says stupid stuff. And then later on he says, oh, I didn't mean that because he realizes how stupid he was because he acts like a little brat sometimes. But Hillary, Hillary is, is um, very deceptive. Uh, very um, controlled. She can be bought because most people in politics, money is the big thing. Like pharmaceutical, it's all bought, it's all paid for. There's heal, all kinds of cures for cancers and all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. But since pharmaceutical can't patent it, they call it quackery. Okay, so the same thing is happening in politics. Politics is um, a paid for thing. It's, it's a very deceptive, and the news has become uh, slanted. They want to keep Trump out because they can't control him. They don't know what he's going to say. They don't know what he's going to do. And, and he has Christian values, although you don't always see them. He has Christian values. So he is going to promote the Christian agenda. He is going to promote uh, free speech where we can, we can share with people. We can get people healed. We can get people saved. They can spend eternity in heaven with God. I don't want anyone to go to hell. And he is going to allow, you know, um, keep out the, the cartel, the drug cartel by the borders. He's, gonna, he's going to um, uh, take the Muslims and any other country that wants to come in and bring Sharia law or bring uh, changes to our constitution and the values that we see and the things that we believe in. He is going to change those things. And, and, and I believe when Trump, I believe Trump will get in. Um, I believe there's going to be a lot of deception and a rocky road before election. Uh, some more stuff is going to happen. Some weird stuff. Even after election, um, you know, they might even shut it down. So I, I don't know. Obama might do something so he can stay in office. Um, uh, you know, they control the weather. So who knows? Who knows? But I believe God wants Trump to get in there. I believe we need to pray. I believe we need to pray and ask God his will. Not, I, I don't think we need to take what the media says because the media is slanted. They want to keep Trump out. They can't control him. Um, they can't buy him. He has all the money. And here is a really, really, really important thing to realize. 
that Trump has already proven himself successful as a businessman. And we don't need a preacher in the office. We need a businessman in the office that knows how to run our, our who is a Christian, and who has Christian values and knows how to seek God and knows how to run our country, just like they run a business. Okay, so Trump uh, is a businessman. He has a proven track record. He knows how to make deals. He knows how to wheel and deal. He knows how to stand up and not be afraid of what anyone is going to say. He is so childlike and childish sometimes that he's not afraid what someone's going to say. He's going to say what's on his mind. He is not afraid to um, admit he's wrong. He's not afraid to uh, grab a hold of things and change them. And Hillary, Hillary is just going with the flow. She's so manipulated. If she, she's hiding sickness from us, she's, uh, she, they're deceiving us in every way possible. Uh, they got to keep her in office because if she comes out of office, then they have to put someone else in there. And I, I, I just really don't know what, how Trump, I don't know what they're going to do in order to manipulate, to try to keep Trump out. But you need to pray. That, that's, it all comes down to that. You need to pray. You need to see what God is saying. And you need to get past the media. The media is going to show every stupid thing that Trump ever said, every stupid thing that Trump ever did from, from the time he uh, sort of became public, a public figure. And they are going to magnify it. They are going to twist it. They're going to turn it. I have read so much stuff that the media reported. And then the person that it actually happened to talked about it and said no it was totally different than that it was this way um it, it happened this way and so the media cannot be trusted trust me people the media is paid for the media is bought they have even admitted that their stories are slanted that they get paid to do what they do okay so you can't trust anybody you have to pray you have to be filled with the holy spirit and have to pray speak in tongues pray in tongues get information from god because the media is deceiving you the media is lying to you okay so so trump has already had a proven record that he knows how to be a businessman and we need a businessman in the office we need a businessman that other countries are afraid of that they know when he says he's going to do something he's going to do something so he needs to be in there hillary has been deceptive all along from the very beginning everything she says and does her sickness um, they're hiding stuff a uh, body double I don't know if that's true or not but um, if Hillary gets in there there is going to be hell to pay um, you're you're just really really um, there's gonna be some bad stuff happening and I believe if Trump gets in there there's some some stuff's going to happen too because the devil is behind this. The devil is trying to divide the countries. With Black Lives Matters, he's trying to divide the blacks from the whites. Yeah, we've been through all this, folks. We're all equal. We're all the same. All lives matter. This life doesn't matter more than that life. All lives matter. Right or wrong, they all matter, okay? And you don't change things by going out and killing the people that you disagree with. Okay, right there, that proves that you don't think all lives matter. And you're just doing exactly what you say not to do. So what I'm saying is um, Hillary is a dangerous woman. You don't want her in there. And I even have family members and relatives that say I would never vote for Trump. And I can't argue with them. I, I not argue. I can't tell them my point of view because they're shut off. They they believe everything that the media says. They believe that the media does not lie. They believe that um, what they're taught is truth. And it's not. I mean, even our education is not true. Our education is so deceptive about our, our beginnings and our history and so twisted and so lied about that you, you can't believe anything. It all comes down to a relationship between you and Jesus. Between you and Jesus. And when you die, you know you're going to heaven. And, and it just comes down to all that. Uh, let me read some of the comments here. Um, okay, now, one of my friends here, um, I can't read all of yours, Cynthia. Um, because it says see more and let me see if I can see more of what you wrote here um, yeah I agree um, Trump has um, embraced what's important to Christian life but his attitude is unchristian like because he's a baby he acts like a big baby all the time sometimes so excuse him pray about it anyway and and you know what by not voting you are still voting for Hillary so spend time in prayer and see what God says um, because when we don't vote, 
we vote for the bad guy. We vote for the wrong guy. So that's that's what I have to say. So leave your comments. I'll try to comment back, um, uh, you know, by typing instead of speaking now because I can't read all the comments. Uh, but I, I just I just beg you, pray, 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 and more prayer. Um, and one thing more I just want to share with you. Um, don't think that Jesus is going to come and take us out of here because we are a light in darkness and God's coming for a victorious church. He's he, he'd be a wimpy God if he came and took Christians out because things got really bad and he wanted us to escape. He wants us to stand up and walk in power and be powerful. So as these elections come about and the turmoil that comes about before and after and during uh, the elections, uh, we need to be uh, standing up and walking in power, taking our authority and our dominion. Uh, speaking to the TV when it says this happened over there, this happened over there, say, nope, not in my country, not in my town, not in my home. Take authority over those things when you hear them on TV. When you hear um, that Trump said this or Hillary said this and you don't agree with it, say, no, in Jesus' name, the word of God says this, and we're not allowing that. And, and just speak the word of God to your TV when you hear bad news. Um, don't just let it roll over your head and say, oh, I better this is going to happen. Just take authority over it. You have that authority in you to change the world. So take authority. And those of you who aren't going to vote, you have power and authority in you to change the world. So pray about it and follow God's instructions. So thanks for letting me um, share this. I hope I've convinced some of you to vote and to pray and vote and to vote for Trump. And um, I just thank you all for, for uh, listening to this. Share it with your Facebook media friends and social media and comment and uh, let me know what you think and we'll talk some more maybe do some more videos and I'll be able to answer some of your questions and your thoughts and most of my stuff is coming from praying in the Holy Spirit and doing research like I said I don't have TV I don't watch TV I don't watch the news it's all trash um, but when something pops up on Facebook I will look at it and check it out so love you robinbremer.net is my website if you like what I say and teach or whatever, uh, you can sign up to get some of my free books. I got 34 books out there, best-selling author. Uh, you can get a free book a month in return for a review. Um, check out my stuff. Love you. Talk to you later.